Ponti's restaurant at Senopati, South Jakarta, has brought a new generation of Nordic cuisine into the heart of the capital city. Introducing Paul Andreas Siska, head chef of Cox, a one Michelin star restaurant in the Faroe Islands, Denmark. Cox focuses on highlighting local Faroese products through unique and traditional methods, and then presenting them in a modern fashion. Basically, the idea, the, the general idea of the restaurant is simply just to find whatever we have around us and make it delicious. Um, but we, we, we also we serve it very uh, in a very simple way, even though it's not simple cooking always, it's techniques and all of these things. But when once the finished plate is there, it has a very simple um, uh, look. Some of our dishes are, are very pure, um, um, elegant flavors that we get from our cold waters around us. Some of the dishes are, are very intense in flavor because we ferment a lot of things. We have fermented lamb, uh, the meat is also really, really strong. Uh, we use seabirds, which also have a quite uh, strong flavor. And so, so, so I would say there's a lot of contrast in the menu. And some dishes are, are very, you know, pushing boundaries and some dishes are very pleasing. Peru's cuisine is unique and rich. The flavors are enhanced thanks to their local preservation and fermentation methods that can take from five to nine months to complete. Uh, which is simply, we have a fermenting house and it has like, it's like a wooden bar like this and it has gaps in between them so the wind can draft through and it uh, reacts to the, you know, all the um, cells and the bacteria and all of this in, in the air, yeast and everything in the air reacts to the meat and it starts fermenting. So it's without salt, it's without covering it or curing it or smoking or anything, it's simply just out to hang. Although Paul's choices of menu focuses on local ingredients and dishes, the new generation of Nordic cuisine is beginning to embrace foreign ingredients without straying from its local roots. People are more open to uh, implementing other things as well. Uh, back when the new Nordic kitchen started, it needed something to, to label it, you know, because there wasn't anything like it out there. Um, but today, I think people are more, you know, you have the strong identity of the new Nordic. It's, it's, it's become this strong, so people are daring to put maybe a little bit of ginger or whatever in, in the cooking without it losing its Nordic uh, identity or Nordicness, yeah. And I think that's, that's probably uh, something that sets the, the new generation apart from, from when it began. Uh.